It's a yes. We have been confronted. We are engaged. This is happening. Hello, my lovely humans, and welcome back to another fast video here on my channel, where we are going to be playing The Sims 4 today. Um, yes, it is pre-recorded, but I changed outfits. I'm sorry. But either way, it is episode, whatever episode it is. I'm not entirely sure. Do you guys know? I don't know. Six? Seven? Eight? Something like that. It's date night. As you guys know from the title, probably. It's probably have it in there. But, um, yeah, last week's episode, if you guys missed it, it's going to be uh, the playlists and things. We linked at the end if you do want to catch up on the series. It is super juicy, very, very strong in the content level there. But, um, this is Dane Avery. He is, I'm pretty sure, someone that is not part of Cats and Dogs, but a part of the SimC Save. I could be wrong. He could just be a part of Cats and Dogs. I'm not entirely sure how far the Avery family, I think it's the Delgados that are part of the Cats and Dogs series. Maybe by Cats and Dogs as a game. Um, and the Averys are a little SimC add-on. I'm not entirely sure, though. But anyway, he is an Avery. This is Dana Avery, his dad. His dad has recently joined a basketball team that will be going against them into some big tournament event that's going on for basketball. And um, he recently just got this position inside. And they are not getting along for it. Um, his son is not the best person we have learned. He's actually quite scary. He's quite bad. He has horrible anger issues and, you know, things that Gunner here had no idea about basically moved in with the psychopath. Um, I don't really know if Gunnar understands exactly how much of a psychopath he moved in with, so that's gonna be interesting. Very curious to find that out. But uh, Trey got the wind that his dad was here. He was very curious why his dad was here. Um, and him being kind of irrational on like so many levels, he he definitely is not in the best of moods, and he definitely is. What's the problem? What's the best way of saying this? He... He's just not good, okay? And he's not doing good, um, in a sense of a way. So, basically what's gonna happen here is that I'm pretty sure Gunner here has to go pee, and so he's off to the bathroom. He did notice Trey walking out, and he did kind of notice that his dad, you know, Trey noticed that his dad was leaving, so I'm very curious. Okay, his dad left. They were probably going to get into an altercation. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to ruin the night entirely. I could possibly see that. Um, Gunner here is going to actually end up calling off for work. I think we're going to have him come in and take a nap. Because I think that's necessary since we don't want him kind of eating. I want them to be kind of hungry when they uh, when they leave. I think that's important. But I think he's going to take it a vacation day. I don't really know how much he's going to like this either. Personally, I, I really think at this very moment, I'm not entirely sure of Trey's character, um, Trey's a very interesting fella, and personally, I don't think he wanted anybody to know his dark and spooky past, uh, just like Gunnar has a not-so-great past, to be honest, either. And by what I mean by that is that, like, he had, like, a scary past, um, he had a lot of, a lot of days where it wasn't exactly the best, where, you know, there, there was a lot of moments there where he wasn't really sure what was going to happen, where he was going to sleep, and if he's going to take a shower, or if he's going to eat that night, you know, um, whereas Trey had it all. Trey had a grandma who helped fund many different, like, different communities, different charities, like, Trey was, Trey is, Trey's family is very high on the level of, you know, being entrepreneurs and things like that, like, he had, he had it set from day one, he, he knew what he wanted to be. He knew who he was going to be. Like, none of this stuff was ever a question, I guess I should say, for him. Whereas, I would say a lot of Gunner's actions, you know, he had to really work really hard for that. And I'm not, and I'm just not entirely sure if um, either of them understand. They just kind of grew from different points of views. I mean, they probably, I'm assuming, meant. Yeah, I think I met, I think at some point in the series, I said they have met at a gym, and I'm, my best guess is they probably met at a gym when, you know, he was there for basketball, and I'm assuming that Gunnar was like starstruck, no, starstruck, that, um, he was, you know, even, like, interested in him, that somebody this famous could ever be interested in somebody that's, you know, kind of lousy. 
Or in his head, he thinks he's Lousley. I guess that should be more clear. I don't think Gunnar's Lousley, obviously. I think I'm on the rep here for Gunnar. I think a lot of us are going to really take to Gunnar. Or maybe you guys like drama and so you're like, oh, trade, 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 you know, all the way. Yeah, you know, either or. Whichever you prefer, I guess. Um, honestly, I'm more of a Gunner dude myself here, just for the simple fact that Gunner has been through so many different things, and, you know, it scares me sometimes when you put through a character through so much and you put him through even more. Um, and honestly, I thought it was going to be my first start of the series. I was like, oh, it's going to be so good. Also, by the way, if you guys didn't watch the first episode, I did mention the fact that there's probably like drama, cheating, people not liking each other. Whole nine yards. I, I did mention that because there are some mods and I get bored there easily. I don't really think the series is going to be very long either. I think it's just going to be the, the the story of their love story. Um, and I, I do think they do care for each other. That's all I'm saying. Um, I think that's what it's going to be. It's like their story of their love story. And when their love story is over, we're going to say goodbye to them, basically. Um, and yeah. But... Either way, I'm super duper excited. So my favorite series that I'm recording right now. Um, I I enjoy all my other series as well. Like, that's not like a big deal here. Because I do enjoy them. But I do have an issue with like certain ones. Like the Turbos or something like that, for instance. If you guys don't watch it. It takes a lot of time to make those videos. Um, there's a lot of preparation and a lot of different like things that go into it. So, yeah. So, um, on to date night. Trey here was the person who had the idea of a date night. Um, he was like, hey, we should totally go out. We should totally, you know, go see the town. You know, it's free. It's all half off. You know, we don't have to worry about any type of money problems. Just nice. I'm going to play. I'm planning on taking you somewhere nice, you know, to spend money on you. Not that they really have money problems. Um, and personally, you know, I don't even really think that Gunnar ever thought that they would you know, that he'd be in a place in his life where money was never an issue. And I can honestly say that he's probably in a place in his life where money at this very moment, if he does ever move forward with um, Trey here, will ever be an issue again. You know, Trey has always has parents. And I still believe even if his parents are like head to head of the 24-7, him and his parents, I still think Trey here, even though he's kind of level-headed and... um but is he level-headed? Like, I had a whole idea that he was level-headed, and I did, now I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, what is up with the... Let's get rid of that. I don't like that, so that's gonna go. The suit thing, I kind of like. Um, looks nice. But yeah, I think you guys know where this is going right No? You guys don't? Okay, well, you guys will find out. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to um, when they actually are at... Okay, guys, welcome back um, to the uh, date part of the episode, the actual, you know, parts you show up here for. So, we are here, we decide to go ahead and request a Pacific table. Um, I'm sure we are going to be, hopefully, taking to that table here relatively soon. Do I need to request it again? That would be distressing and annoyingly. Like, I hope not. Come on. Let's see, here's our request table. Or, we can take it to the table. Honestly, dial system is not the best. Uh, not commonly unknown. Um, to be quite honest with you, I would prefer this table. Can we request that table instead? Can we like, we might have to have um, our good old, okay, oh gosh, now people are, cause like a good restaurant, see, it's all glitchy, glitch, glitch. We might have to reset some people. Mostly just so I can get the parking, you know, the place that I want. There we go. Okay. That should be good. Now, if we come here. Oh, dang it. I didn't get the request that that's annoying. I'm wondering who did. And why are they here? How can I get rid of them? I mean, can I shove them underneath the rock? I think all these questions are important. Also, side notes of different, you know, controversies that are going probably on in this world. Bonjour here, you know, you see him get his wife just left without him. Um, I don't even think she was on a date with him, so that's great. They've been cheating on each other for years. Honestly, it's a very, very funny history I have with them. He's never been, they've never been a family that I've taken part in through their cheating with, but I've always been curious to add them to my family just so I can figure out 
who else they're dating, um, or who else they want to date, who else I think they might have a romantic relationship with, because I think all these things are validly important, and, you know, yeah, just, you could be kidding me, now this table is open, table, honestly, I'm just mad, I had this whole plan, and now I don't even know if it's gonna happen or not, okay, cool, we are getting a table, thank the lord, and it's, like, super late, you see, but they're hungry, and, like, he needs a shower, and I don't know how to fix his needs without fixing his needs. And, like, it's important that they're happy, so I should do what I'm going to do. Right? Okay. Did anybody guess what we're going to be doing here? What this whole date night point was? Um, it popped up in an idea of mine a few weeks ago, when I was kind of brainstorming for this, uh, you know, thing. And, honestly, I could not have uh, figured out a better idea than to propose to him. He is madly in love, or he thinks he is. Also, I will mention, Trey's doing this because he feels bad for cheating on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is no other reason that he's doing this. He's not doing it because he's, like, absolutely madly in love with him. Um, I don't know if Trey will ever find true love. We'll find out, obviously, what this whole point of the series is. But um, I think it's going to be more fun if they have a downfall, because ultimately, I mean, he would obviously have to see where the technical downfall is. Ah, oh, dang it, I don't control pets, and so now they're gonna be up there. That's so annoying. Do you have the, can I get all the windows up? Thank you. Alright, let's see if I can get ourselves a good screenshot. You know, it's date night. Um, not entirely sure if I'm still using screenshots as thumbnails, but we still want the option. I don't really know if this is gonna be a yes. Or no. Oh, it's a yes. We have been confronted. We are engaged. This is happening. Just to point that one out. Okay. Oh, Okay. They are still super duper cute. I mean, we can all admit that they're super duper cute, but he did jump down someone else's pants. And, um, he's not the best guy in the world. I just gotta say, personal opinions. But personally, what do I know? So it's 9.30 at night. Um, we're going to assume that, hey, they ate, they had a good time. I don't want to cheat their needs because it ruins. I can't fix it later on. We got to do it. 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 Um, I This is a no mod LP. This is not a no cheating LP. Okay, so don't seem like you're... Alright, so basically what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take Trey here, and Trey's like, hey, I should probably go make up for my dad, right? And um, we should do a big party um, in the coming weeks at my parents' house. They would love to throw it probably after we tell them that we're engaged. We should do a huge party there. So, engagement party coming up. I don't know when, though. I'm not sure if it's going to be next week or not, because um, we're going to go ahead and lie to our our significant other, because that's what we do, okay, we are liars, if you have not catched the drift yet, and we're gonna come here, but we're not gonna take Gunner, you know, obviously, and we have been really chatting up Ian here, who I think is married, um, we have a few married people, Jay Huntington third, also, like, kind of married, it's half time to take, go ahead and get Dawn, and bring Dawn here, and have, like, you know, a risky getaway, but I think I want to try to pursue Ian, but because I kind of just want to go release some steam, I think we're just going to take Dawn with us. Now, guys, I know what you guys are thinking. They just got engaged. He just professed his undying love. Like, this is important moments and you're ruining it because he's going to go with someone else. I get that. But you have to understand who kind of person he is. I mean, for every stage of his, every stage of their life, their love, I have a feeling that he's never going to be truly committal to him. And I, I don't really know if it's his fault. Um, I have some ideas. I would love to know your guys' ideas in the comments down below. What do you think happened when he was younger? What do you think happened before he met Gunner? Like, what is his stories? What is what makes Trey? Trey, um, just to give you a heads up, Trey was a child when you when we meet him in this little since he save, and I aged him up because I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. He has a whole backstory that I don't even know because there is no backstory system. There's no memory system in the Sims Four, which is annoying. But um, there's like no backstory, so we get to make up our own. But he has a whole entire family to make up our own with, 
And so what is that family? What, is, what does it look like? I want to know in the comments down below what you guys think. But um, ultimately, I think, you know, I just don't ever think that they were truly committed to each other. They had only met six months before. And um, Gunnar is being wronged in this this process, you know. And I think Gunnar will be wronged in every process going forward. I could be wrong, you know, in three more parts, Trey could be a different man. He could be loving and committal. But ultimately, he did do this. He cheated on his boyfriend, now fiance, before. He also cheated on his fiance. You know, they woohooed twice. And he spent the night. He showed up late. He got into a fight. Like, there's so many problems with this. But, of course, with that being said, because I do want to shout out my... Oh, God. Oh, he must be going to the gym. Can you see us? I don't think he can see us. He must be going to the gym. That's my best answer, and I think that's a that's a very, very valuable answer, right? Is that he must be going to the gym, which is just, it's just right there. It's at the end of the street. We are all the way at the very end of the street. I don't think he can see us. All right, we are going to see if we can send Gunner home. Oh, the game is trying to make him, make them find out. But I do want to quickly shout out this build right now. Um, If you guys do not know, this build is a build that I create on my channel. There's a speed build and everything. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to link it at the very end of this video. Also in the cards, if I remember. And it's called the Sandy Motel. And um, simply all it does and all it is is a motel. So I have learned in a very quick way by, um, by Jen who uses motel. Motels very often in her LPs because I think it's a very nice way when your Tims are in a rough spot in the motel or whatever. Um, if you put them in a group, you can actually lock the door for a group. You cannot lock the door. This is a generic call. Anybody can come in, but you can lock the door for like a personalized group. And so it's just like your room and they can't like get in. So you can lock it for like a club. So yeah, interesting way to do the hotel system without having having a hotel system but of course i think what we're going to end up doing is i kind of want to stay upstairs and like and up here they're all the same bedrooms you can of course personalize it to your own content i don't care what you do with it um but i just kind of wanted like a like hotel and yeah so they're all the same but it's very cool very happy about it but we're gonna come to this bedroom and we're gonna woohoo okay when it has a dot 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 that, that's how you know you have problems but we're just going to come up here and we're going to have woohoo with Don. He's in a very flirty, very, you know, extra special way. And um, Don is not going to complain. I don't think Don knows that he's a married man. I don't. I think Don understands that he's dating someone. Um, they obviously have not come and made public light of the situation. And I think that's very, very important that the light has not been made about the situation. Because I think the light is detrimental to you know, everyone's career, I think his career, his fame, everything can go just downhill real fast, guys, like, real, real fast, um, or maybe it'll skyrocket, because, you know, talk to James Charles, a scandal is a scandal, and it's pretty great, you know, it can do you well, especially if you handle it very well, and, um, some people can do that, other people can't, uh, talk to some other people on the internet, and they'll tell you the same thing, what is going on, why are they not going and woohooing, okay, well, I was going to have them go upstairs and woohoo. Like, it was going to be a thing. But now it can't be a thing because they're being, like, you know, people I'm not a huge fan of right now. Because they're not making a thing. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, so make a thumbs up. Don't comment down below. Hit your right on. I'll see you all next time for another video. Bye!